NHL 24 is here, it's out, and are you guys ready to get your franchise mode started but you're not sure where to start? Well, here are five teams that I think would be provide a good challenge and be a lot of fun and be pretty rewarding for you guys to lift the Stanley Cup. Coming in at number five is the Boston Bruins, and some of you may be asking, how could a team that just won the President's Trophy and set a record for the most points in a regular season ever be in the top five most interesting franchises to do? And that's because they lost two Hall of Fame centers this year. And I think it's going to be a very, very intriguing challenge. Yes, you've still got Pasternak. Yes, you've got McAvoy. You've got Lindholm and Marchand as well. Marchand is 35 and potentially on his way out of the franchise. Pasternak and McAvoy will be here for a while. The same thing with Hampus Lindholm. But the rest of the team might need some refreshing. It's up to you to decide, do you want to go all in for a season and then potentially rebuild with Pasternak or maybe ship him off? This is why it's up to you guys. The defensive core also looks very, very good uh, still. But again, it's one of those where there's only $5 million in cap space. The team is not nearly as elite as it was. You have two great goalies. So initially, the challenge will be pretty easy um, to continue to win. But the stringing a dynasty together for Boston, actually achieving a cup win, is where I think this franchise mode gets inter interesting. Do you end up selling off one of these goalies? Because... There's not much in the pipeline. That's what makes this franchise exciting for me. Um, really, there's not much here. There, there, there's nobody up and coming, uh, an invigoration of youth um, and talent coming up through the organization. So what you get is what you got. Uh, and by the way, you don't have a first, second, or a third in this upcoming draft, and you're missing next year's second round pick. So those high elite talents are not coming in through the draft. It is up to you to decide what direction to take this franchise. Do you continue? to build on the core they have, maybe ship off some of the old, old aging pieces, or do you completely blow it up and say goodbye to all these players? Next on this list at number four is the Nashville Predators, a team with a lot of draft picks. And guys, those of you that love draft picks are going to love the Nashville Predators. That's where I'll start. Uh, they have their first three seconds, two thirds, uh, three fourths, and two firsts in the next season as well. So for those of you that don't want to go out and stockpile those assets and want a franchise that already has them, well, here you go. The Nashville Predators are your team. Not to mention with all of those draft picks, you get a franchise caliber defenseman who is nearing the end of his career. And it's a team in need of a re tool or you can make the decision to go in with a full-on rebuild. Forsberg is at 29, Ryan O'Reilly 32, McDonough, Barry both in their 30s, Luke Shen same thing there. Some younger talent here in Joachim Kamel that you could hope will grow. Uh, Tomasino, Evangelista, and Dante Fabro, three guys that maybe could be part of that new wave for the Nashville Predators should you decide to move on. Or use some of those draft picks to go all in now and win a cup like they couldn't do back in 2017. It's crazy to think that just six seasons ago, the Nashville Predators were in the Stanley Cup Finals with the likes of P.K. Subban, but they could not get over the hump. Can they get over the hump now? No Pecorine, but goaltending is not an issue as UC Saros is here. Uh, Askarov as well, a medium elite goaltender at just 21, as well as Lankin in here, a, a phenomenal backup. What direction do you take this team? Do you turn it over to the Young Guns, or do you go one more shot with the current core of players? They have a new coach in real life. Maybe you can usher in a new era, or give it one last go with the players they have. This team is poised to go in either direction, and whichever one you guys do decide could provide a long-term benefit and a lot of fun this year in NHL 24. Coming in at number three are the San Jose Sharks, and those of you that love to tear it down and rebuild from scratch, this is the team for you. This team has $5 million in cap space, so maybe you can take on some assets that way to acquire a bad contract and get some more picks. But this is a team, really, that needs everything. William Eklund is the only elite talent that they have in the pipeline here. There's plenty of players that are in the medium top six range that could end up growing 
to become those middle sixers, those players you need. Maybe you'll get lucky and one of these guys will hit a top line potential. But really what this team needs is just, they need some franchise saviors. William Eklund cannot do it on his own. Tomas Hurdle, Logan Couture, they're part of the old guard. Do you want to sell these guys off for picks? Would you like to try and rebuild quick enough that Tomas Hurdle could at least still be around? Logan Couture at 34, 8 million a season for the next four seasons. I doubt he's going to be in many of your long term plans, but this team needs a lot. And the good news for you guys is the fact that they have two firsts and two seconds. This first from the Penguins coming as part of the Eric Carlson trade. Will you do more of that shipping off good older talent to acquire some draft picks? Goaltending will need to be addressed, but it's by far and away not the most pressing need what you guys need to do is to find that elite talent, that talent that will carry you to a cup, bring the Stanley Cup back to the West Coast. It came close with Vegas. Will you bring it here in San Jose? Like I said, this is a full-on rebuild. Put your stamp on this team. Put your stamp on this roster and command the San Jose Sharks back to the top. And hopefully it will only take just a couple years of being at the bottom to achieve it. Nearing the top here at number two, it is the Vancouver Canucks, a team that is right up to the salary cap and listed as a seller. This is a team that, in my opinion, has some elite talent that you can build around. You do not need to acquire it like you would with the San Jose Sharks, who we just talked about. But what you need to do is build a well-balanced team around them. There are pieces that can support Pedersen and Hughes, but there is just not enough to say that this is a cup contender just yet. As you guys can see, JT Miller, Andre Kuzmenko, Philip Hronek, Connor Garland, Brock Besser, all these guys in the primes of their careers while Hughes and Pedersen are just entering their primes. This would be a perfect opportunity for you to completely revitalize the Vancouver Canucks, a franchise that has been tripping over itself for years now since they lost to the Boston Bruins in the Stanley Cup Finals. Good news also is the goaltending situation is all set. Thatcher Demko is an elite goaltender, just 27 years old, 87 overall, and signed for another three years at sub-5 million. Casey DeSmith as a backup, as well as a couple players in the system that could come and take that role from Casey DeSmith. Now, you are missing a draft pick or two here or there, but it is not enough for you to be completely hamstrung here trying to get this team across the finish line. The Vancouver Canucks are very, very interesting because there is a little bit of talent coming up in the pipeline with Rati, Lekaramaki, uh, and a couple other players, but there is not a savior waiting in the wings to assist and make a big three out of Pedersen, Hughes, and somebody. Find the supporting talent, find the right supporting cast around Pedersen and Hughes and create Vancouver into a dynasty around Pedersen and Hughes while they are just entering their primes. There's not a lot of time to rebuild, but maybe one or two years of complete teardown and rebuild. Uh, Pedersen is going to need an extension if you guys use the base rosters. You should be fine with that. The cap space, well, you can create some here and there, but this is a very interesting team. Decisions need to be made with this Vancouver Canucks franchise, and are you the GM to finally make those decisions, make the tough calls, and get them right? Take Vancouver from a fringe wildcard team to a cup dynasty. Finally, atop our list here at number one, is the Pittsburgh Penguins. Speaking of dynasties, you gotta start here with Pittsburgh, right up against the cap and with a lot of talent currently on the team. What decision do you make? Can you win Crosby and Malkin one more before they ride off into the sunset? The ages on this team are sky high. Four crucial players over the age of 35. Chris Letang also signed for another five seasons at 6.1. 
What are you going to do with that contract? Is Sidney Crosby going to retire a penguin? Or will he play long enough and you let him walk that he suits up in another jersey? Evgeny Malkin signed for three years at $6 million till he's 40. And Jeff Carter, thankfully, is expiring at the end of this year. But with the big Eric Carlson acquisition, for those of you that like to play the games as well, the Pittsburgh Penguins will be a ton of fun to use. And the question is getting that next wave, that next generation. There's not many players in their mid-20s for you to fall back on. Gensel on the wrong side of 26. Same thing with Graves here. The one talent that you are looking at here is Braden Yeager, a recent first-round pick for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Again, not much in the way of rookie skaters coming up. Goaltending wise, it's set for this season, but what about long term? Is it Blancfist or will you use him like they're suggesting to go out and acquire more pieces to get one last cup run? The last dance here with the Pittsburgh Penguins, Sidney Crosby. Can you get him another one and cement his legacy as one of the greatest of all time? And will Eric Carlson prove to be that missing piece for you? And how do you adapt when these overalls start declining? These salaries don't. And you are faced with tough choices. Maybe something that in real life you can't do. But maybe it's time to say goodbye to Malkin and Sid the Kid. And completely blow it up and rebuild entirely. This is a fun one guys. See how long you can get this Pittsburgh Penguins dynasty to last. Can you take it another 25 years or Will you have to restart and rebuild after these guys age out? And hopefully you'll have the ability to do it and you'll have some fun in game with these players as well. But guys, this is the final team on the list. If you have any others that you would like to use this year, leave them down in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see some more and I will see you guys in the next one. It's a free for all of them.